well, all the way from uh, telecommunications, uh, roads, and uh, MRT, LRT, uh, to solve the traffic problem, among others. And of course, we have the airports and the ports. Now, you, when you talk about uh, infrastructure itself, you also talk about government spending. One of the things you raised in this paper is the fact that the government did underspend despite it being investment-grade ratings and good foreign reserves. You're looking at less than 80% of the budget was spent. If they had spent close to 95%, what was the economic growth rate we could have had? Uh, based on the World Bank, uh, Estimates, it would have been about 8% over. And you think that the 5% of GDP, which is the target of this administration this year, is going to be sufficient, or do you think the next administration can build on that? As long as they spend it, it may, not, it may be enough for a start. So yeah. this is essentially project execution? Yes. Now, one of the things we also talked about to round off those um, 10 issues, the first and foremost was agriculture. Why the malaise in terms of this administration? If you think about it, very flat growth. And Estrada, for example, the, the uh, administration of Estrada and Arroyo happened to have much higher growth than, for example, the Aquino administration. That's right. Uh, I think agriculture has been neglected. Uh, for what reason? I don't know. Because uh, they have already put in a lot of money into it in terms of budget, but uh, I don't know in execution. Second, they have uh, maybe focused too much on crops rather than farmer income based uh, type of strategies. Then, for example, Thailand's farmers actually earn twice more, $1,300 uh, more than the Philippine farmers. Yeah. But what do you think the administration can do to get those, a big win in the first 100 days of the administration? Well, number one, do something about agriculture. Uh, how do you increase a farmer's incomes? I think, take the case of Thailand. If a rice farmer with two hectares just adds a milking carabao, he will already double his income. As easy as that. So it's just in supporting these farmer communities, not just the, the crops well, themselves. Well, look for ways to diversify his income and to increase his income. All right. And then one last thing we wanted to talk mm. about is manufacturing. You said we're, you know, coasting on good growth from 4% in 20, 2001 mm. to 2010, up to around 7%, close to 8% at the end of this administration. What can the government, the next government, do to make sure manufacturing has a true renaissance? Number one is uh, reduce the power cost. Second is to you, you reduce smuggling because smuggling kills manufacturing. And one thing you mentioned in an earlier conversation was an export promotion strategy. Should there be a more favorable PESA, for example, to help our exporters? It would help if we tweak the PESA a bit to make it more competitive. Well, certainly at $83 billion in terms of gross yeah. reserves, there's a lot to do. So, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it looks like a clarion call. The, the, you know, this paper is very well in, mm -hmm. in, 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 as an instruction. And I appreciate your insights. I hopefully the next president will listen closely. Hopefully. All right. Thanks, Dr. Thank Mary. You. Thank you. Okay.